What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's here. This is a video that kind of went viral. It is of an Instagram model by the name of Ava Louise. I've spoken about her before. She tried to expose Antonio Brown, you know, for whatever reason, sleeping with him, I guess. And she uh, also lied about Kanye West having some sort of intimate relationship uh, <laughs> with a uh, gay male influencer. And she says she lied. She made that up. And now she's claiming that Black China tried to traffic her, tried to kidnap her and traffic her. Now, she has a whole video that she posted on her TikTok. Might be multiple videos where she is discussing this. I'm not going to say that this woman is just flat out lying because, again, uh, we may not know the whole thing. But what it seems to me to be is definitely a, a play for some attention. Now, I don't think now, the reason why I could say that I don't think that she could be lying on this is because Black China had the same situation happen before with a woman that went back to her hotel room when she did some sort of gig in California, you know, one of those appearances, right? And the girl and her male friend went back to Black China's room. And when the male friend left, Black China refused to allow the female to leave. It was a, another Caucasian female. And the male friend went and was bamming, was knocking on the door trying to you know get her out and finally black china opened the door but still wouldn't wouldn't let the girl get out but the girl had you know was able to get out and black china kind of tried to chase after her was cussing her out just very weird behavior uh from black china so that situation happened before just you know in this situation now one of the reasons why i'm skeptical about this is because one, this is very random, but two, there's a connection between this Ava Louise model and the Kardashian Jenners. See, these are some photos of Ava Louise with Kendall Jenner and Chloe. This was some a couple of years back. This is why. When you see stories like this, because you know the, the, the issues that the Kardashian Jenners have had with Black China, you see these photos that are on Ava Louise's Instagram. This all could be BS, but I'm going to look at it and react to it because I noticed the media isn't talking about it. And you would say to yourself, why is the media talking about? It? Because, you know, this is somebody that doesn't like the Kardashian Jenners. The Kardashian Jenners don't like her. So I would assume that they would speak about this. But we're going to react to this video. And you can be the judge for yourself. Black China held me hostage. And I'm pretty sure she was trying to sex traffic me. This is the only time in my life I've ever felt real fear, and it is the scariest thing that has ever happened to me. I finally feel safe enough to share the story because this happened back on August 10th, and it's been a little bit of time. I don't have time to go into the details, but China and I met on Instagram. As you can see, we were DMing. I ended up sending her my number. She FaceTimed me at 3 a.m. LA time. My best friend, Alex Marker, was on the FaceTime call as well. As you can see, Black China follows my best friend, Alex Marker, on Instagram. So while China was FaceTiming with me and Alex, she invited me over to her house at 4 a.m. In hindsight, going to Black China's house at 4 a.m. was probably stupid, but I'm me. I love a good adventure, and come on, who's going to turn down going to Black China's house and meeting Dream Kardashian? Because, again, that's a clue there. She is a fan of the Kardashian Jenners. That is why she wanted to go there, which is weird that you would want to go and see Black China's child with Rob Kardashian. But she's one of these Kardashian Jenner groupies that they have everywhere. And that was one of her motivations for going there, according to her. Long story short, I get there, I have to sign an NDA, but this NDA was unlike any other NDA I've ever signed in my life. 
I had to put down all kinds of identifying features about myself on this NDA, like my eye color, my hair color, my height, what I was wearing. I was like, okay, this is really strange. Right after I signed the NDA is when China very intimidatingly said, all the stories you read about me kidnapping people are true. Now, I've never seen any stories about China kidnapping people. I read them after this happened to me. Well, there was a story again some months back that she tried to hold this woman against her will, but it failed, you know, and I want y'all to understand how women are very trusting of each other. And, and that's how and they are the reasons why women are able to get trafficked because women trust each other a lot. And when they see a woman there when in, in a situation, they're they're very willing to help. And they're, they're very naive when it comes to a lot of women because a lot of times women help men and it was far as in these sort of situations they recruit women you know what i'm saying like a lot of these celebrities these male celebrities i believe they use women to recruit the chicks that they screw right i believe they use women for the most part not all these guys but i believe there are those that use women to recruit those women Women can women are some of the best recruiters when it comes to women because women trust each other very much so especially even it what's weird is that when they don't even know other women <laughs> you know they 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 hate women that they know more right but it could be a random woman and she would be very and women I, every situation women will be very trusting of each other when they shouldn't especially when you don't even know that person right and again black china has been in this situation before that is why i'm doing this video because there was a there's a there's a story out there about her trying to hold a woman against her will so this isn't something that had never happened before as far as black china is concerned i believe you know black china black china basically admitted it to her but she didn't believe her i got a gut feeling i was in danger but there was nothing i could do because i was in a gated home I couldn't unlock the gate and get out. This is the only photo I have from inside China's house. It was in her guest house, like a sign. My phone was on 3% and she wouldn't let me charge it. So there was really nothing I could do. I was really screwed. For six hours, China held me hostage. She drank an entire bottle of Casamigos in front of me. She like wouldn't let me be alone. Every time she had to use the bathroom, she would make me go into the bathroom with her. She took Dude. shits in front of me. She forced me to take a wet towel and wipe off all of my makeup. She was doing weird things all night, like comparing her hand sizes and trying on my shoes. She kept telling me that I had to stay until 10 a.m. because that's when Dream was going to be out of the home. And she was going to go crazy on me at 10 a.m. She kept saying things like that. I really didn't know what was going on. She kept saying things like, I'll be honest with you about what's going on here once you're honest with me. At about 9.45 a.m., China FaceTimed some woman named Donna, who told me she was in the escorting industry on FaceTime and told me that I was good product. China and her were going back and forth about. Again, how would you know the conversation they having unless it's like on a loud speakerphone? And again, like a lot of this stuff you have to take with a grain of salt. This person... Ava has been known to be a liar. She has. She's been known to be a liar. So you have you have to really take that, for, for, take this for what it's worth. And one of the reasons why I'm want y'all listen to this because I want y'all to understand the things that go on and why women can get caught up in the situations that they do. It is because they are very trusting, too trusting. Right. Me. They were under the impression that I was transgender. I am a cisgender female. I don't know how China got that impression. I started texting my friends. She's a birthing person. Out. I'm out of time. Like for part She's a birthing person, too. Part two. Part two of Black China holding me hostage and sex trafficking me. Now, a lot of... Now, you see this right here. I saw some comments from people saying that this may not be right, but we'll go into it. If people want to say, oh, Ava, you make up so much stuff, you're lying. Um, I've never made up anything except for the Jeffrey Kanye rumor, and that happened two years ago, and that was a total joke. And that whole joke kind of gave me such a big platform that I'm able to meet people like Black China now. 
because of you see how she admitted how lying Th this is why i tell y'all man a lot of these chicks will lie and do anything they can to become famous so a lie that she said happened two years ago got her to where she is so that's why when people see this stuff they are not quick to believe it because the person who's putting the information out here is a liar now they want you to believe them right she gained a platform for being a liar for being a liar like most of these chicks already did they're liars you don't believe a word that comes out of their mouth but now she wants us to believe her this time until we find out that it's bs it could be it could be but again black china has been in this situation before that is why there's a possibility that this is real that this did happen my following and who i know now but i would never lie about something like this serious and if you don't believe me this is a screenshot of my location that my friend took while i was in china's house if her address is like googleable i'm sure you can compare this but enough about that in part one i had left off um where donna was on facetime with china now i wasn't supposed to hear this phone call with donna at all but for context, China had drank an entire bottle of Casamigos in the six hours I was in her home, like fully downed the entire bottle and she was blackout drunk and she was like playing Nickelback music videos on repeat. So she was so drunk, she like answered this FaceTime in front of me. Donna wasn't happy about this and Donna was like, well, is she trans, is she trans? Like asking. That's when the phone was handed to me and, and Donna was like, well, I'm just going to ask you myself, are you trans? I told her, no, I'm cisgender. I can prove it. I'm literally on my period right now. Like, what do I have to do to tell you I'm not trans? She, for some reason, wasn't buying it. She's like, I trust my cis China. She says you are. And then we were all going back and forth. My phone's at like 2% at this point. I didn't know what to do when Donna said she was going to come after 10 a.m. when Dream was out of the house and she was going to come check me out herself. So I knew I was screwed. My phone's about to die. I didn't know what to do. I texted my friends and let them know, like, what was happening. And I frantically texted the guy I was staying with in LA, being like, I need you to save me. The times on these screenshots are a little different than, like, the timeline I'm giving you guys because this happened while I was in LA and I was like... She was in Los Angeles staying with some guy, okay? I would not be surprised this person probably wherever she lives probably has a bunch of roommates you know what i'm saying they, but you look at their social media you see the pictures location a lot of these chicks are broke that's why she was willing to i don't even know how she got there does she even have a car did black china pick her up did you take an uber to black china's house you know <laughs> you know how, how'd you get there did you get dropped off the guy that you're staying with just letting you just go to, you know, Black China's house, you know, Black China's house, right? On LA time and I just took these screenshots and I'm in New Jersey, so it's New Jersey time. But so I had texted the guy I was staying with this and my phone was probably on 2% at this point. I'm frozen in fear. China's going back and forth with this Donna woman about how much I'm worth and like if I'm trans or not. And they were arguing and I didn't know what to do. Why was they so concerned she was trans? Like, did they need picture confirmation? <laughs> did they need some type of picture confirmation as to whether or not she was, you know, not trans? I guess uh, Black China was telling them that she was. Is that what they were looking for? I mean, this chick has an whole, a whole OnlyFans. She has a whole OnlyFans. So they could have just went to the OnlyFans. Not as if she's, you know putting those types of pictures on there I, I could believe she is then they could have went they took confirm it or they could have you know asked you know is, is there's a way to confirm it which again why are they harping on the whole trans thing right the guy i was staying with immediately called me and he's like run china's grabbing at my phone i'm i'm staying on the phone with him i know my phone's about to die and i ran I ran out of the house and I ran to the gate and I hopped over the gate, threw myself over that gate with mm. everything left in me and over I ran the down gate. the street and I hid behind a bush. And then the guy I was staying with was able to help me like get home. 
so did you go back to the guy whose house you were staying at or did he get you a plane ticket home and she says she didn't just get herself over the gate she threw herself over the gate this, this is a weird story man a weird story from a weirdo so we all know this ava person is a weirdo she is a kardashian jenner stan and we still don't even know how you got to black china's house did she pick you up did you take an uber over there it's just it's just weird you don't even know your way around i'm assuming that area maybe you do i don't know but again black china's been in a situation before i did a whole video on that first situation with her withholding that chick so it's not out of the realm of possibility that this happened i just want y'all to understand what's going on out here it's not safe out here uh these women think they're safe amongst each other but you're not you're not there's a bunch of manipulative women out here who will try to traffic you who will try to uh, take you against your will and again we we don't know if this story is 100 it could be fabricated she she claims that it's true so me making this video is to ask the question not every video has the answer this is a question because y'all probably have more research on this than me but i presented my info i talked about how much of a fan she was of the kardashian jenners and i talked about how she wanted to go to black china house and meet car uh no, no, car, excuse me she wanted to go to black china's home and meet her her daughter dream and again, we don't even know how she got there. She claims she threw herself over the gate. The guy she's staying with, instead of him, you know, possibly calling the authorities, he just gets over there just in time to pick her up. <laughs> There's a lot going on with this story, man. There's a lot to unpack with this story. But this chick is this chick right here, Ava, has been known to be a liar. But Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next time.